What is going on guys, Joy here back with another video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the top iOS 7 Cydia tweaks of March 2014. Now this is actually going to be a special video. I'm collaborating with iTweaks from youtube.com slash iTweaks. Now if you're not familiar with his channel, he covers a lot of jailbreak tweaks on his channel, hence the name iTweaks. Now we're going to be going over our top iOS 7 jailbreak tweaks of March 2014. So to begin, we're going to start off with Polis. Now, if you're not familiar with Polis, you can find it in the Big Boss repo for 99 cents. And what it basically does is, as you see down here, I have six different icons now for different applications. Now, normally you would only get four, which is going to be your flashlight, your calculator, your clock application, and your camera. But now, as you see here, I have six. I have my flashlight. I have the Nike Fuel Band application, settings app calculator the camera and spotify so by simply tapping on one of those you'll open up that certain application which is pretty awesome and if i go ahead and open up like the nike fuel band application here it opens up the application so it basically allows you to change the applications in control center down here at the very bottom now if you do go to the settings you're able to select different applications of course you can choose whichever one you desire anything on your phone and also you'll be able to arrange the order now you can do order by recently open. You can select that on and off. Now here you'll be able to rearrange the different applications here and you'll be able to select different actions if you tap on that certain icon or if you tap and hold. Uh, so you can do various of things. Also, if you go down here to select icon, you can select a variety of icons here. So you can change it and customize it to the way you'd like from those icons. Now, if you go down here, you can also hide your apps. You can also choose the amount of displayed apps. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can also do pagination. You can turn that on and off, open to first page, circle icons, and all that good stuff. Now this tweak you can actually find on my channel. I reviewed it, so you can check that out if you want a more in-depth review. But that is Polis, and you can find it for 99 cents in the Big Boss repo. Next up, we're going to talk about Cylinder. Now, Cylinder is free, and you can find it in the Big Boss repo. And basically what it does, it changes the animations when you are changing from page to page. As you see here, I have like a circular motion going on here when I change my pages. And it's very similar to another tweak that you may be familiar with. But this one actually allows you to change different effects. Uh, you can actually basically customize your own effect. So here is a huge list of different effects you can choose from. Uh, let's just go ahead and choose this. Now, I see there, you'll be able to change it and basically customize it. It's all weird. Like uh, you can choose one, two, three, four, and then kind of combine all these tweaks together or all these uh, different settings options here together and make your own little custom uh, little animation that you see here. So there is a lot to choose from. Now you'll be, able to, you'll be able to create formulas as well and randomize the different effects there. So that is Cylinder. You can find it for free and it basically allows you to customize the animation when you switch from page to page. Next up, we're going to talk about Asphalia, and I believe I pronounced that correctly, but you can find it for 99 cents in the Big Boss repo. And what this basically does, it allows you to have security on your applications and not just one, but all of your applications, anything you decide to uh, lock. And if you have the iPhone 5S, you'll be able to use your Touch ID to unlock it. So, I mean, there's sometimes I hand my phone to people and they decide to go through my photos, for instance. So I can go ahead and lock that application. And you see there, it says scan finger. So now I'll be able to scan my finger and then it unlocks for me, which is pretty nice. Now I also have like, for instance, Instagram locked. So if I simply put my finger on there, I'll be able to unlock my Instagram. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, jbarian17071. Links will be down below. Uh, but yeah, so, Another way to unlock it, if you don't have an iPhone 5S, you'll be able to simply tap on the application one more time and then enter your passcode. So I just simply put in a passcode and I see there it unlocks. So this is a very well designed tweak here. And again, it's called Asphalia. Now you do have some settings for Asphalia. 
And I keep saying that wrong, I believe. I'm not sure. You'll be able to go into the secured apps and then choose dynamic selection. You can also disable and enable touch ID or have an activator action. Or you can also have advanced security here. So you can uh, lock the app arranging. So if you don't want anyone to mess with your apps moved or anything, uh, slide power off, you can uh, lock that up multitasking control center and spotlight and then going back you have your passcode options you can change your passcode from here uh, you can do the simple passcode which is just a four digit number uh, you can also enable and disable touch id if you have an iphone 5s of course and you can also change it to uh, vibrate on fail uh, you can change the way it's required uh, so for instance, you can change it immediately. So every time you exit out of an app, it will immediately ask you again for your passcode if you try to access that app one more time or any how many times afterwards. Or you can do it uh, sec 10 seconds, 30 seconds, etc., etc. Uh, and then you have advanced options here. You'll be able to obscure your app content. So that means whenever you uh, go ahead and activate your multitask switcher, you'll be able to blur out those applications that are actually locked, which is pretty nice. So going back, unlock to app unsecured, delay, asphilia, uh, Wi-Fi unlock, and also you can access your fingerprints from here as well. So that is basically asphilia, and I think it's a very well-designed uh, tweak here. You can find it again in the Big Boss Repo for 99 cents. Now for the next tweak, we're gonna be talking about Hued. Hey, you see here, I'm able to play and pause just by simply tapping on the little volume HUD and not only play and pause, but also uh, skip the track. As you see here, we're gonna play that real quick and then I'll be able to skip the track or actually even go back a track, as you see there. So with Hued, you have different options in the settings uh, options here. You'll be able to enable and disable the classic HUD and also uh, the music controls. So the classic one, of course, is this here what you normally see. But let's go ahead and turn that off and then enable down here the modern HUD. So when that is enabled, you'll be able to change the appearance. Uh, you see here, that is something different. It looks pretty cool. And just by tapping it, you'll be able to play and pause that certain track that you see there. And you'll be also able to swipe and go to the next song as you see there. And then of course, go back. You'll be able to go back a track. Now on the volume artwork, you'll be able to enable and disable that. So if you don't want the volume artwork to show, you can disable that. And here you have the music controls. So you can enable and disable the music controls as well. Now down here you have the adjustments. You can make it delay 2.5 seconds. Uh, the default is 1.5. So you'll be able to change the settings right there. And that is basically huge there. Um, you can find it in the Big Boss repo for $1.49. Now you can also even see the volume right there. So it's a different look and it kind of feels nice. So that is huge. So go ahead and check it out in the Big Boss Repo for $1.49 and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. But other than that, guys, that's going to wrap it up for my top iOS 7 City Tweaks of March 2014. Go ahead and check out iTweaks video right down here. I'll leave it right here in the corner, right here on the right. And uh, go ahead and click on that annotation right there or go ahead and click on the link down below in the description and it'll direct you straight to his video. Be sure to subscribe to his channel because he makes some awesome content. So be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any of his content. And as always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this collaboration video. And if you're not yet following me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or Instagram, all of my links will be down below in the description. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed so you won't miss any of my future videos. Other than that, guys, appreciate you guys for watching. And be sure to go check out iTweaks channel as uh, he has the rest of the tweaks. Some awesome tweaks over there. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.